I'm Dr. Mara Roberto Vuma from South Africa. This morning on the 12th August at 10 to 11 in the morning, we did an operation for our sister here. Twin pregnancy, they were both breech. So when we were delivering the second twin, this baby sustained a fracture on the right femur. So the doctors of the bones checked the baby. They said they will put a splint, but other doctors came and checked and they said that the blood flow to the baby's leg is reduced so the leg might die. So I don't know if you can appreciate the color difference. Okay. All right, can we hear from the mother? I'm Ada Saloa. I delivered in innovation while they are taking me the born on leg and I talked to the doctor they said again he seemed to eat. I want you to be at rest because God Almighty is involved in this situation. The two twins have a very bright destiny and Satan does not want that. That's why he has brought all these complications with the birth. And I want to assure you that God is in control, the baby will live and he will grow strong and healthy to the glory of God. <laughs> I'm not the healer. Jesus Christ is the healer. Let us all look to him. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Resurrection power flows through his body. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Broken bones be reconnected. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every ruptured blood vessel be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I secure these twins by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Congratulations. Thank God Almighty, you have beautiful twins. They will live to the glory of God. Amen. Doctor, thank you so much for connecting for this prayer. Thank you so much. I needed the prayer. You are all free to the glory of God. Morning and win forever. The baby is improving, doing well, even the color on the leg. This has improved very much. Pastor Frank, he prayed for my baby. That time when Pastor Frank prayed for us, I saw my baby leg with the exchange. The leg, it's become nice. You can see now it's nice. That time it was black, black. So I thank God for everything. I mean, my name is William uh, Jimo Masaro. This one is my wife. I just make thank you for everything. Good morning and we are I'm Dr. Manarora Chivomo from South Africa. I'm going to be sharing my testimony about a complication that I encountered as I was doing my job. So for the purpose of the testimony and to the glory of God, I will be projecting some of the images on the big screen. So on the 12th of August 2022, I was at work doing operations, cesarean section to help the mothers who cannot deliver naturally. One of the mothers had twin pregnancy and the both babies were breached. The delivery was complicated. One of the baby came out with injury on the leg. So after the x-ray was done, it was found that the baby has a fracture of the femur. This was the x-ray that was done immediately. When I went home that day, I received a call from the hospital. The doctors were saying they checked the baby and then the blood is not flowing well on that leg. 
So it's 50-50. The leg might live, the leg might die. I was demoralized, in pain, in agony. In search of solution, I reached out to Pastor Frank and his wife. This is my message. It reads as follows. Good morning, I'm Dr. Rachibuno Monaro. I operated on a patient today, and during the delivery of the baby, I accidentally fractured the baby's femur. The doctors who checked the baby are saying that the leg might die. Please pray for me so that the baby's bone can heal and the leg should not die. Fortunately, they responded. They called me. They said, Doc, we want to pray with this baby. That's when we went to the hospital. And the hospital would ask the mother if we can pray together. She agreed. So these were just the instructions and righteousness that we given for us to follow in order to connect for the online prayer. By God's grace, we managed to connect for the online prayer and they prayed for us. Here, I was just saying thank you for everything. We are coming back with a great testimony. And then they responded, we are standing with you in prayer. Jesus will come through. And indeed, Jesus came through. Two days later, the baby was discharged. I said, good morning, they are discharged. Thank you for the prayers. This was 20 August, eight days after delivery. You can see here that the color of the legs is the same. It shows that blood is flowing on both legs. The condition of the vascular injury was no longer an issue here. Both legs were getting blood flow. So just in less than a month after the incident happened, the baby was completely discharged and restored. You can see both legs are equal there and the baby is fine now. The mother also says the baby is no longer crying at night because of pain. It's now sleeping even more than the other baby. This is the leg that was fractured. You can see there that the legs look equal. They are the same in color. I just want to give um, glory to God and my advice um, to the viewers all over the world is that we should put our trust in God. Um, sometimes we get comfortable and feel that no, I'm fine, I can handle this or I'm used to this work. But the truth is we need God for everything. We should commit everything that we do to the hands of God. As the Bible says that commit your ways to the Lord and He shall lead you. So I also just want to say thank you to Pastor Frank and his wife, Mrs. Shadow Logan, who uh, availed themselves to be used by God to reach people all over the world, to help people who are in need. For me, this situation depressed me a lot. I felt like quitting my job. In fact, I even felt like life is not worth living anymore because I felt like the thing that just happened was too terrible. I couldn't bear it, I couldn't live with it. But I, I explained my situation and they encouraged me that this complication occurred but it doesn't mean that I'm not called to, to do this work. However, if not for the counsel and the prayers, I don't think I would have the courage to continue. But now I'm still working, I'm continuing, I'm encouraged. So I just want to encourage people out there. If you are in a house like this or whatever work you do, Commit everything to the hands of God. Before you go to your work, pray that God, please guide me, be with me in my line of work. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus.